second hypothesis, space-time metric engineering, uh, this one's going to be a little bit out there, so you're going to have to bear with me. Uh, I have I have can some... I, can I ask you a question real quick? Sure. Do you have anything uh, about um, uh, gamma rays in, in your uh, evaluation? No, let me let me just let me do my thing, man. Let me do my thing. I got three things here. I got through my first one. All right. So the, so I did an explanation that basically says we don't need some sort of fantastical warp drive to 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 actually explain some of these observations. But now I'm going to get into um, how maybe an actual warp drive uh, would work, and without using some fancy zero point energy theory that basically nobody understands and this is using the information mass equivalency uh so the idea we all we're all familiar with e equals mc square um this is going to be touching on that and then it also uh implements uh the the function of quantum computers so i'll explain Although most of these things appear aerodynamic, that doesn't mean they aren't employing multiple different modes of travel. Also, there have been reports of non-aerodynamic shapes such as pyramids and cubes. I can't explain pyramids and cubes with, as classical aerodynamics, so I have to get into space-time metric engineering now. Additionally, there have been <laughs> additionally, there have been reports of objects that go in and out of the water with ease and great speed, which is also hard to reconcile with my previous explanation. One way space-time metric engineering may be possible is with an added twist to the well-known physics that actually has some backing by a few scientists and even has some observed precedent by researchers. This is the little-known theory that information could be equivalent to mass and energy. The same way Einstein overturned physics by showing mass and energy are equivalent with E equals mc squared, this theory basically says information is also equivalent. A Harvard physicist published a paper in 2019 where he created a mathematical model in which information has a small amount of predictable mass and theorizes an experiment to test the theory where he calculates the difference in mass that should be observed between a storage device of one terabyte and one with no data. Unfortunately, we don't yet have sensitive enough measuring devices to test the theory. A second example to add credibility to the information has mass hypothesis is a paper written by Japanese physicists in 2010 where they demonstrated conversion of information into energy without violating the second law of thermodynamics. It's a pretty complicated experiment, but essentially they made a particle do work by receiving information rather than energy. And I will include that in the show notes. Now that I've established that the notion that information could be equivalent to mass and energy, I want to explain how this could be used for space-time metric engineering. Basically, in the same way the physicist wants to use a large amount of data to, to detect the mass of the information in a hard drive, I believe a sufficiently advanced quantum computer could have the same effect. Rather than storing a terabyte of data, we would process a terabyte of data. Same thing. It would have the same effect. But then if we ramp it up to way more than a terabyte of data, which is conceivable with a quantum computer, we would start generating massive gravitational waves. And because we're using a computer, we can change the way it's processed to warp space-time to our will. Even more interesting, a quantum computer such as this not only would become a space-time metric engineering craft, but it could be quantum entangled so its operator and power source tangle to its operator and power source and basically travel without an onboard power source or operator across limitless amounts of space and time. This is due to quantum entanglement, which I should probably add some quantum entanglement stuff to the show notes. And I'm definitely going to add, you know, the, the, the different papers so people can look into and into those explanations. 